Good morning guys. It is Thursday and me and Jim actually spent the morning <laughs> sitting over here overlooking the ocean. We had our coffee and there were actually dolphins swimming by before. They're kind of hard to see. I don't think I'll pick anything up now but they were just kind of bobbing in and out of the water. We we're watching the sailboats go by and the fishermen. It's really really windy today though so I don't know if I'm going to venture out very far. We did a lot of walking yesterday. It's just still so pretty though. Look at the sky. So I'm not sure what we have planned yet today. I think we're going to probably go to the pool for a little while. I'll just show you guys around the room because I never got to do like a legit room tour and now that it's totally trashed, <laughs> I just want to show you some of it. I've been reading this book, Winter Street. It's so good. I'm really enjoying it. I don't know if you guys saw my tea talk and book banter, but I'm going to read that series, the Winter Street book series. And we have a pullout couch, which is very uncomfortable, Patrick says, um, but that's where he's been sleeping. And every window has a pretty amazing view you can see that and we're just eating some oatmeal jim's kind of set up for work here because even though we're away he's still working it's during the week so it's like teacher convention week here in new jersey and the kids have off school thursday and friday which is why we were able to do this and then the kitchen it's pretty fully stocked so we have like the coffee pot there's a toaster in there pots and pans and a microwave and then we also have a refrigerator which is nice and then I always bring a bunch of snacks and things for the kids especially for the morning because I don't really like to get up and go out first thing in the morning I do this on our Disney trips too I always have just like stuff that's quick and easy for the room so we have like little bites and oatmeal and the Bellavita cereal bars I have some granola bars and things plenty of water so that's what I do. Let me know in the comments below if you guys do this too when you go away. Do you like bring a whole bunch of snacks and drinks and things for the kids? <laughs> it's definitely worthwhile because they're always looking for something to eat. And I know it's not a really great room tour because <laughs> the room has been lived in for a few days and clearly it is pretty much a mess right now. But let's go outside quick and see how windy it is because I've been hesitating going out all morning but it's actually not that cold. Such a beautiful scene. Right. It's a little bit windy. Tomorrow's supposed to be really windy, so I think today is the day to maybe go over to the lighthouse. We'll see if I'm brave enough to go by myself sometime this afternoon. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update, what happened yesterday and what's going on today and all of that. So last night we ended up meeting up with a friend at the bar downstairs. We actually have friends that are staying here this week too, which I didn't even know. So they saw a post that um, my husband made on Facebook and we realized that we're both staying at the same resort. So we met him for a drink downstairs and then we went to my favorite place, which is the Irish pub, if you guys ever ever go to Atlantic City this building is just if you're like into older architecture which I am this building is so unique and so cool it's just it's very very old and everything about it is just really really nice and if you go around the holidays it is amazing the way that they decorate is just so over the top so the Irish pub in Atlantic City it's my favorite place to go in this town, like for sure. <laughs> Unfortunately, the menu is very small. I feel like they used to have a lot more options than they currently have right now, so that was unfortunate, but um, it was just fun to go there. And then I reached out to Emily last night. You guys saw that I left her at the hotel where her singing group was staying last night, and I feel so bad for her because she was really nervous because she really didn't know anyone else doing this. She was the only person from her school that was accepted into this program and some of the other schools like a handful of kids were accepted so she didn't know anyone other than one girl who she met like only a couple of times and she asked her if she would be interested in rooming with Emily because Emily is just nervous about sharing a room with somebody that she doesn't know. So when I got Emily to the room, she messaged the girl to let her know that she was there and to see if she wanted to, you know, meet up with her and stuff. And this girl totally ditched her. 
she decided that she wasn't going to room with Emily and she made her own arrangements, didn't even reply to Emily's message, and Emily ended up rooming with a complete stranger. So teenage girls can be horrible and I felt so bad. Emily has the type of personality though that even though she's nervous, she can make friends very easily and I think that things are going well with this girl that she's sharing the room with, I hope. Um, but I was disappointed to hear that last night because that's just not nice. Why are girls not nice? Madison, <laughs> they could be horrible, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm like still in my pajamas, but I did put makeup on. Madison's totally still in her pajamas. <laughs> didn't brush her hair yet or anything. <laughs> my hair still does look brushed. It does look brushed. We're still gonna run a brush through it though. Is that a shark? No, but we've been watching all of the creatures in the ocean. I was telling Madison this morning, I saw the dolphins. I saw a narwhal. A nar. A, a nar, do I say it wrong? Yeah, you say narwhal. It's a narwhal. Yes. And a mermaid. No. And all kinds of crazy stuff was going on. Madison missed it all. That was fun. Especially the mermaid, Mom. Especially the mermaid. That was my favorite part. She was over on the rocks over there. All right, so today I think we're going to go to the pool. Maybe we're going to take a walk somewhere and do something. I don't know. We're keeping it pretty chill. And that's it. Just thought I would update you guys. And what's going on and we will see you later so we are now headed to the pool a couple of things that i forgot on this trip because i was limited on space with my new luggage was a beach bag like i usually bring a cloth bag or something to bring to the pool so luckily madison <laughs> brought her little donut backpack so i'm just putting like my book and my phone and all of that stuff in there and i also forgot to bring like a laundry bag so it's kind of been hard to corral all of the dirty laundry. I don't even have a big kitchen bag or anything to put everything in. So that's been a little annoying. It's not like me to forget those things, but I was just trying to keep the amount of stuff that I was bringing light. So that's what happened. But now we're headed to the pool. I'm probably just going to go in the hot tub. I'm not like one to really want to jump into cold water, although it's probably heated. It'll still definitely be too cold for me. But after all of the walking that I did yesterday, I'm kind of looking forward to some time in the hot tub. You're having fun at the pool? Yeah, you ready to go? You're done? Done swimming? Got kicked out of the hot tub. <laughs> and we're done swimming. So we just got back from the pool. That was fun. I just basically went in the hot tub. I didn't go in the pool. But it was still fun. Everybody's showering now and getting ready for lunch. I think we're going to take the shuttle bus. They have like a shuttle from our resort over to the boardwalks. We're a couple of miles away from like where all of the stuff is. <laughs> so um, I think we're going to just take the shuttle bus over there. I just realized this shirt. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera. The shirt that I packed to wear today has like stains on it. <laughs> it's horrible. I feel like I'm such a mess this trip. Oh yeah, I have stains on my white shirt, whatever. So that's what we're doing. I think we're gonna go get some lunch, walk around on the boardwalk a little bit again, just like we did yesterday. And it's been a pretty laid back and relaxing day, which is something we don't very often do as a family. <laughs> Our trips are usually really, really high impact and scheduled to the minute. So this is kind of nice. I've been like reading my book and just looking at the ocean here right from the bedroom. It's been really nice. So I'm hungry and we're gonna get some lunch does not do the 13th floor. Isn't that crazy? No yeah. 13th floor, it's bad luck. We have some elevator dancing going on right now. <laughs> so it's about five o'clock at night. We really didn't do much of anything today. <laughs> We ended up not even going out to lunch. We found a restaurant right here in our hotel and it was really windy. So we just decided to stay here and eat. So basically we hung out at the hotel all day long. We went to the arcade, went to the pool, had lunch here, just been hanging out with the family. And now I think we're gonna go to the lounge bar area downstairs. It's happy hour and everyone's gonna meet there and then we're gonna decide what to do for dinner. So I'm hoping we actually go somewhere and do something for dinner because we've been in this hotel as beautiful as it is all day long. So I don't mind getting out a little bit. What about you, Madison? Question of the day. Oh, a question of the day, go ahead. 
What is your favorite vacation place? What is your favorite vacation place? Let me know in the comments below what's your favorite vacation destination. <laughs> All right, so that's it. I really have like nothing, <laughs> nothing to share today. No big stories, nothing really that exciting happening. Just been kind of relaxing. I got to read a lot, so that was nice. I'm almost done with my Winter Street book and that's great because maybe I'll be able to get through most of the series this uh, holiday season, we'll see. All right. We will. <laughs> Madison has her spontaneous dance moves going on. Would you like to show us some new moves? Um, Do you have a, a dance yeah. move to show? All right. <laughs> Very nice. Everyone loves those dance moves. <laughs> and did the sunset. You guys saw the sunset last night. It was so beautiful. I don't see any amazing colors tonight, though. This morning, the sunrise was so beautiful. And I was going to grab my camera and show it to you guys. But I was like, you know what? I did that at 530 the day before. And I just laid in bed and just watched it for like 20 minutes. and <laughs> went back to sleep because it was so pretty. So, all right, that's it. It is now 5.04, and we're headed downstairs. See you later. Oh, nice socks. They look familiar. <laughs> <laughs> so Madison is waiting for her strawberry daiquiri that they're making for her right now. Virgin strawberry daiquiri, of course. Madison's excited. She's gonna get all sugared up. <laughs> is it good? Yeah, I'll take a picture of you. <laughs> That's cool. Hey guys, so we are back from dinner. We were out on the boardwalk for a while. Um, we had a hard time finding a place to eat. We ended up eating at Johnny Rockets, which was like, okay, a lot of fried foods. Doesn't really settle well. <laughs> Madison is tired. I'm tired. It's like 10 o'clock. And I think we're gonna go to bed. Are you ready for bed? Yes. Yeah. So that's it for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed coming along with us today as we did a lot of nothing. <laughs> but we had fun, right? Did you have a good time today? Yeah. Yeah. And you remember what? question of the day. Remember to say it in the comments. What was the question of the day? It feels like such a long time ago what that you said that. What is your favorite vacation? Favorite vacation. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Okay, Good bye. night. Good morning, guys. It is Friday morning. We're still here in Atlantic City. <laughs> Last night was okay. We actually took the shuttle bus from our resort over to the boardwalk. We were looking for a restaurant to eat at, but a lot of places were really crowded and we really couldn't find like a decent place to eat so we ended up going to johnny rockets which was okay it's like kind of borderline fast food <laughs> but we ate we got back here at about i don't know 9 30 a quarter to 10 at night and that was it we called it a night so this morning i had to go to emily's hotel to get her luggage she called us at like seven o'clock this morning because they're checking out this morning but they have the performance tonight so we had to go there get her luggage drop a couple of things off to her and we've just been kind of hanging out at the room all morning doing a lot of nothing but i think jim's gonna work a half day today so we're going to go over to the boardwalk and have some lunch and then we're gonna head over to see emily's show which is the reason that we're here so that should be a lot of fun just starting to pack up and slowly get things together because we do need to leave tomorrow morning probably by like 8 a.m because both emily and patrick have to work at 12 and it's about a two and a half hour drive home so that's what we got to do so me and madison are just hanging out <laughs> hey guys <laughs> and yeah starting to pack things up and get everything ready to go so that we can just have fun today um, can, can, I show them, can i show them a picture your picture oh, yeah. madison was working on a picture okay you can go show them Okay. Hey guys. <laughs> okay. Where is it? Okay. Here's my picture. It's basically a baby with ears on in a baby carrier in the grass. 
Really cute. Good job, Madison. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys later. Bye. So I was just setting everything up to show you like what I bring in my makeup bag for kind of like a short stay. <laughs> and then <laughs> over here, Madison set up all her stuff. <laughs> It's so cute. So Madison has a little girl deodorant. I don't want her to hear me, but I just think it's so funny that she like set up her things because she saw me doing it. She has her chapstick, a little like highlight, a perfume that a friend gave to her as a birthday gift, and her little blusher and a little mascara. <laughs> and I'll show you guys what I bring. So I have my new Tartlet palette that um, I shared with you guys on my favorites. Just some eye cream. I have this Too Faced Hangover. It's like a face primer, but it's also very hydrating. So it works for both. So when I travel, I like to bring that. This small Mary Kay CC cream. And then my Iron Guard. And I have a little spongy thing for my uh, concealer. Some deodorant. I have this Sephora blush the color is I've been using this forever sweet on you and my obviously like my uh, shadow brushes my blush brush my brow liner which is by elf and I think it was like a dollar or two it works really great and then my bell Disney designer collection lipstick the color is bell and then Mac lip liner a Mary Kate black eyeliner my eyelash curler and this voluminous, voluminous, how do you say it? Voluminous, I don't know, by L'Oreal. I've been using this, gosh, since I was like in my 20s. It's one of my favorite mascaras. So that's really everything that I need, especially if I'm not going to be away for that long and I can't pack too many things. That's everything that is in my makeup bag. I just finished this book, Winter Street by Ellen Hildebrand. And it, it's a good book. It kind of reads like a soap opera. And what I wasn't expecting was for it to end in such a way where you absolutely have to read the next book. <laughs> so I know it's like a series of books, but I did not expect that. I don't know why. I just kind of expected there to be a legit ending to this book. And there isn't. It just kind of leads you into the next book that once you read this, you're going to want to read the next one. So if you're signing up <laughs> to read the Winston, the uh, Winter Street series, just keep in mind, you're probably going to need to read all of them to be satisfied. So now I'm anxious to read the next one, but it was a really good read and it definitely brings you into the holiday season. So if you're looking for a book to get you in the holiday spirit, um, this Winter Street series is really good for that. Someone's happy. Where are we going? Sugar fat. <laughs> so everyone's getting lunch and I decided to just take Madison to the sugar factory. So it's just Madison and me. Madison and I. Madison and I <laughs> going to the sugar factory. Look at how cute this is. Uh, oh my gosh. Not cute. Do you know which one you want? Yeah. I'm going to. Comes like this with just the dry ice and the candy, and then they're gonna fill it up with some fruit punch, pretty much. <laughs> Ooh, cool! Thank you. Madison got the fancy waffles with the strawberries and the whipped cream and the strawberry sauce. And I got grilled cheese and fries. Looks good. So we're taking this to go. It's really good, but we can't finish it. That's as much as we got through. So we just got back from lunch. We actually spent the whole day out. We had lunch at the sugar factory. Just me and Madison went, it was a lot of fun. She was so happy. No one else really was interested in going, but she was so excited that I took her there. So 
that was great and then me and my husband and my mother-in-law and father-in-law went to the ocean casino and we gambled for a couple of hours so that was fun we didn't lose too much money i think we lost like 14 dollars in the end and we were able to play blackjack for like two solid hours so that's really not bad it's always nice to win but it's even nicer to not lose <laughs> so that worked out well so we're back at the room now but we only have about an hour to just freshen up and get ready to see emily's show so we're going to be headed there in a little bit we're kind of dependent on the shuttle bus we ubered it a few times today but there is a bus that goes over to where she's singing tonight and it's gonna get us there a little bit before the show but that's fine because i want to make sure that we have really good seating and stuff like that so that's what we're doing now it was a really great day it was nice to like get out a little bit <laughs> yesterday was fun just relaxing here at the resort all day but also it's good to get out and just enjoy like what atlantic city has to offer which is a big part of it as you know is gambling which i'm not like really big on gambling and the only thing i ever really play is blackjack but it was fun we had a great time and now we're headed off to see emily's show and then we'll probably get a late dinner we're packing up and getting ready to go so i just had madison pick out pajamas for tonight and an outfit for tomorrow so i just folded and put them right on top and then I just already have my dirty laundry on this side and this side is just open and waiting for like my toiletries and my makeup and just all of those things. I have my computer bag out and ready to go and Emily's all packed up and then this is just like the little things that we bought while we were here and you know the candy shop things and stuff like that. So pretty much almost packed up and ready to go. And then I just put over here like my pajamas and my outfit for tomorrow. This way I don't have to worry about going through the drawers tomorrow and seeing what I still have laying around. So now that I'm done with the Winter Street book, I started reading The Curious Charms of Arthur Pepper. And this has been really charming. I'm not very far into it, but I think I am really going to enjoy this book. So I'm ready for the show. I don't know if I love what I'm wearing. <laughs> these shirts they're kind of like i don't know the latest trend is like these crop top kind of shirts and i feel like maybe i'm too old to be wearing it and it's just awkward for me and unfortunately i really didn't bring options on this trip as you guys know if you watched I, i'm pretty sure this is going to be in at least two videos but at the beginning of the video or i should say possibly the last vlog i had to take some items out of my luggage because it barely fit so i didn't have options of other things to wear so i don't know i just feel like if i put my hands up you're gonna see my belly and it's just really short and i'm not that comfortable with it but probably for the most part i'll have my jacket on and i have like a big scarf i'm wearing too so that'll help cover things up a little bit better but this is what i'm wearing <laughs> this shirt that i got from charlotte Roos. is that what the name of the place no i got it from francesca's i believe and then just black jeans from express and my naturalizer booties that i wear like all the time so i'm ready for the show and we are headed out in just a few minutes and i'm enjoying this view for one last night it is so pretty i actually woke up really early this morning hoping to catch another really beautiful sunrise but the sky was really gray so hopefully tomorrow morning it'll be pretty again because the other day it was like orange and red and like so vibrant and beautiful but I was too tired <laughs> to record it, so I'm hoping I have one more chance. We're back from Emily's concert. It went really well. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to record any of it, which I kind of expected, but they did a wonderful job. I'm so proud of her. She did really great. It's like 11 o'clock at night now. The show was at seven and we didn't get out of there till close to nine, so we had a very late dinner. And now we're back at the room. I'm tired <laughs> it was a long day but we had a lot of fun we're headed home in the morning and I don't know should I end the vlog here Madison or should we say goodbye tomorrow hey. what do you think I'm not <laughs> you know what we'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs> good night And we're all packed up and getting ready to head out. You ready? Yeah. You tired? Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Headed home finally, right? And it's only Saturday. Yep. So we still have the whole weekend ahead of us. Take one more look at this view before we leave because it's so pretty. And that is something I'm gonna miss. The sun is fierce today. Wow, that looks really pretty, doesn't it?
we were really lucky with the weather that we had this whole week too it was like not too too cold it was definitely starting to get cold but we were able to walk where we needed to go and do all the things we needed to do so it worked out perfectly so it's about 8 15 in the morning we're wrapping up i got up at 6 30 and just went down got coffee read for a little while and finished packing up so now we are sadly headed home and i will see you guys when we get back and we're out we just got home, it's about 11.30. Emily and Patrick are headed off to work. There is no food at all in the house. So we need to grab some lunch and I'm gonna need to hit the grocery store at some point in time because there is like, I don't even think we have milk or bread in the house right now. But I came home to a clean house, so that's always great when you can manage to like catch up on laundry and make sure the house is in really good condition before a trip because the worst thing ever is when you come home to a messy house and you have tons of laundry to do. <laughs> so I brought the luggage right into the laundry room and I've already started the laundry and now we're just getting settled in. So I actually have a lot of work to do this afternoon. I have like Mickey World travel work. I'm really excited to start uploading and editing all of my content from this past week. So I don't know, I look forward to doing that. It's like one of my favorite parts about getting back home is being able to watch all the footage and edit it. So that's one of the perks of doing travel vlogs. So that's what I have on the agenda today. Madison's having a friend sleepover tonight. Emily's going to a party and I don't know what Patrick's doing yet, but we still have lots of stuff going on because it's only Saturday. So I hope that you guys are all having a great week. If you have watched all the way up until this point, <laughs> thank you so much. Give this video a thumbs up if you did and I will see you guys real soon. Take care, bye.